guys welcome back um this isn't a new video but i missed a step in uh, i think my second video and i'm gonna explain what i missed um uh, my name is jordan most of you know me as supernatural 001 i was the gm of talisman of noxus for the past few months but now i decided to start making video and teaching people how to edit their server so in my second video i believe it was when i showed how to get your server online and how to set up the website there was a step I missed in setting up the website. Um, I, my website is currently off, so I'll show you real quick what I am referring to. Um, da, 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 we can find the website video here. Let's, uh, let's open this up real quick. Oh, that's ugly. Go in here. We got the server online and our work website. Okay, so at this point, so when you get, uh, there's two things I missed actually. So when you get an error like this, or you get to, if, when you put in your VM IP in, in the, the URL and you get anything uh, like this, like uh, an error like this, there is one command um, that usually fixes it if you did an edit. So, like we did an edit, and in this case, we put in the C conta files in here. Sometimes it'll register automatically and, and recognize the change, but sometimes it doesn't. So, there's a command that you can do that pretty much like restarts it, restarts the website connection, and like refreshes it to the most newest update. And that command is here. Uh, I mentioned it in this video. Like I was, I think I say it right now. So you put in the root password there. I just got a call. Okay, I guess I didn't specify, but there's a command that you can sometime enter to restart it. And it's this command here, sudo da 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 da, -da apache2 restart. It pretty much restarts your website connection. Um, like when your server's online, you usually don't have to do that. I suggest don't do that, because that, I did that once and it fucked my website. So I've only ever done that when I'm initially uh, setting it up to getting it like on. Um, but the step that I missed was so when you uh let's just go real quick because my website is currently for my vm I, I turned it off so you see here there's gonna be a username slot password and an email by default navicat doesn't have an email slot so we go to we open up navicat we go to uh, db account table t account and if you go all the way to the right I have it set up obviously now. I have it set up obviously now here, but um, by default, this will be the last column. So to add a column, you're gonna wanna add your email column. So to add that, we do uh, add, I messed it up when I'm the first time. I think it's, I'm gonna we'll say design table. Yeah, design table, and then I think we do add. Yeah, there we go. Design table, add field, and then so by default you won't see uh, this email slot there. But so we'll we'll you would type out email. You want to make this a uh, varchar, and I scroll through. I'm not sure what these different ones are, and um, I'm not sure if you do a different one if it'll work or not. I'm just doing the way that I learned it. Varchar, length is the, like, how many characters you can put in it. So, whatever. And then leave this as zero. 
and then you will click save I'm not gonna save it but you will click save and then when you would exit out again I think it would ask you to save your changes and then that's it um, if you don't have that column edited when you go to fill this part out it won't tell you account successfully registered but in this case I already did it so account successfully created um, but yeah, that's just one step that I noticed in my video that I missed because someone commented, someone told me that they're having that issue that when they go to fill it out, it doesn't make their account. That's because they forgot the email slot because I forgot to explain how to do that part. But um, I'm going to put this link of this video in that original video and I'm going to name this video like creating website part two, whatever, so that people can see that it's kind of like a sequel to that video because it's all connected. Thanks for watching.